Previously on Pretty Little Liars. Hi guys, it's Lauren Daisy. Welcome back to my channel and today we have a ridiculous video. I, you know, I feel like a lot of the topics that we talk about, especially when it comes to Pretty Little Liars, can be kind of intense sometimes. Um, and I have quite a few videos coming up that are kind of like that. We're going to do like an Ariane Ezra deep dive. We're going to do a Spencer Hastings deep dive um, and some like topic deep dive so like going into people's backstories and specific plot lines from Brittle Liars so I thought it'd be kind of fun to just do a kind of silly one um so today on Brittle Liars Mysteries we are going to tackle Arya's fleeting vegetarianism because I feel like it's really funny because it's kind of something that people bring up a lot and they also bring it up for a reason why she should have been A. They think that because she said she was a vegetarian but then ordered a cheeseburger in the first episode, that showed that she had a history of lying and that she was A. So I thought I would go through and try to find every instance in which Arya has eaten food and see if she went for the vegetarian option. So today, being a vegetarian of uh, 15, 16 years uh, myself and now a vegan of three years, I feel like I'm very well equipped to comment on this. Um, I think Arya being a vegetarian is a really fun part of her character. Like when Mona says, oh, she assembled the perfect group and she calls Arya compassionate. I feel like kind of her being a vegetarian is part of that. And obviously she is a vegetarian in the books as well. So I feel like it was a good thing to kind of carry over. Um, I know that like when I was growing up, something that kind of first introduced me to the idea of, you know, vegetarianism, veganism and you know, using kind of like cruelty free and being against animal testing and animal rights was actually characters I saw in TV shows um, like Lisa Simpson. Um, Lisa the Vegetarian is one of my favourite episodes of TV. Um, and also Phoebe Buffay from obviously Friends um, is a vegetarian. So then when Arya was a vegetarian, she kind of got added to that list. Um, and she's my favourite liar, so I feel like that kind of adds up a little bit, you know? Like, we, we love animal rights. So <laughs> I thought it would be kind of just a bit funny and ridiculous to actually go through and try to solve once and for all, is Arya Montgomery a vegetarian or is she lying? <laughs> Obviously, the big outlier here is the pilot. Um, so in the pilot... Uh, in the pilot, in one of the first instances we actually get to see Arya interact with anybody, she goes to the bar at Hollis College, which is where she obviously meets Ezra. But we're not talking about Ezra today. Mm -mm -mm. We're talking about the cheeseburger. Can I get a cheeseburger, please? She orders a cheeseburger when she's sitting at the bar, but we never see her eat it. We never even see this cheeseburger. So maybe <laughs> this video is so ridiculous. Maybe it was a veggie burger, that's a possibility, or um, I've also seen the theory, because yes, there are theories about this, that she actually got the cheeseburger for Mike, um, because it could have been for him, like, after practice, she said she was going to go and grab some food, so I always kind of took that to mean that, like, she was going to go and get food and, like, just eat while she was waiting for him, but some people kind of interpret it as, I'm going to go and get food for us, and then I'll come and pick you up. So, Yeah. For me, I feel like this is just a classic case of pilot discrepancy. We see this quite a lot in TV shows when the pilot is filmed. It is before the show has even been like, you know, picked up for an entire season. Things look different. In the pilot for Gossip Girl, Chuck and Nate are riding the bus, for God's sake. They're riding the bus with Dan. Like they would never. They have personal, you know, chauffeurs and all this stuff. Um... Like in Pretty Little Liars, Toby is not played by the same actor and um, Alice's mum isn't played by the same actor. We also have that the front of Arya's house and the front of Alison's house um, completely change with by the next episode because they had to move to the Warner Brothers lot so their houses look different. So I think this to me feels more like a kind of pilot discrepancy in not remembering that Arya was supposed to be a vegetarian 
just not even really thinking about it or being like, you know, we just wanted this show to get picked up. Whether she's a vegetarian or not is not a priority right now. And then in episode two of season one, uh, the Montgomery's get Chinese takeout and Ella says that they got Arya's favourite, which is like Kung Pao. Um, but they don't say Kung Pao chicken. But obviously, traditionally, it is a chicken dish. Um, but you can also get vegetarian versions of it where it is just vegetables. So, again, I think could just be a slip up or because they only said Kung Pao, maybe we're supposed to think, oh, it's the vegetable version. We got you Kung Pao. Yeah. Also, in this episode at lunch, Aria has a salad sandwich and apples and grapes. A <laughs> salad sandwich. And this is the thing I wanted to look at, right? Because obviously the food that they eat in this show, like when they're sat down for their lunch breaks and stuff, is not meant to be looked at. It's just food. But I wanted to see if they kept it consistent. And from what I found in terms of the lunches, they do. Like there's an episode, I mean, we'll probably talk about it, um, where like the other girls have a meatloaf or they have... Um, like ham sandwiches or something like that and Arya still always has a vegetarian option so I do feel like they intended for her to be vegetarian because otherwise they wouldn't put these little details in. Then in episode four um, Ella's making chicken for dinner and she asks if Arya is okay with having veggie burgers so we see you know she's offering her the vegetarian option, the alternative. I feel like that's a solid that's a solid plus in the R is a vegetarian uh, category. Are you okay with veggie burgers? Actually, I, I said I'd have dinner at Spencer's. Also in this episode, Ezra makes Aria dinner and he has salad and chips and he also makes her pesto pasta. So again, no meat, no meat in sight. Make really good leftovers. Don't laugh. No, no, seriously, the pesto will get up your nose. In episode five, Arya offers to make Ezra enhanced mac and cheese, which she says basically means she's trying to make fettuccine, uh, but not to get his hopes up. So again, we're having a kind of white sauce cheese-based pasta. How do you feel about enhanced macaroni and cheese? Uh, frightened. <laughs> what do you mean by enhanced? Well, it means I'm cooking fettuccine, but I don't want you to get your hopes up. In episode six, the girls bring Arya um, Chinese takeaway and they all have like noodles, like what looks like chow, like chicken chow mein. Um, but she actually just has uh, like fried vegetables. In the 13th episode of season one, when Arya, Mike and Byron sit down for breakfast, he has done like a cooked breakfast and she has uh, potatoes, toast um, and scrambled egg. And Mike and Byron have the same, but they also have bacon with theirs. In episode 15, um, she has a salad and Spencer and Emily have like meatloaf on their plate or something like that. In the second episode of season two, Aria has like a bowl of fruit um, for lunch and she also has some kind of bread. I don't even <laughs> know what it is. It honestly looks like just like pizza crusts stacked on top of each other or like maybe pita bread or something. Anyway, again. No meat to be seen here. In episode 11 of season two, she again just has a salad sandwich. Um, good Lord, somebody get this poor girl a proper lunch um, and an apple and I think some carrot sticks. In episode 13 of season two, she has spaghetti in tomato sauce with salad. In episode 20 of season two, Ara and Ezra are gonna go on a date. This is when they were kind of like sneaking around and he is going to a French vegan restaurant with her. Um, so I feel like naturally when you are vegetarian, it is kind of fun to go to fully vegan places because you know you can eat everything. That was definitely something that I found when I was just like vegetarian is that you don't always get the best options. I feel like now it's a lot better. Um, in terms of vegetarian and vegan options, but when I was younger, like 10 years ago, it was it was rough out here <laughs> to try and get like vegetarian options. So I feel like the fact that then he is taking her to a fully vegan like French restaurant kind of shows that she needs vegetarian options. There's this tiny hole in the wall vegan place that just opened up Center City. Wait, a restaurant? What's it called? Chez Mirabelle Vegan Bistro. French food? Wow, you must really like me. Arya, it's French vegan food. I must really love you. Now, 
here we have another little slip up from Miss Montgomery. Um, and this is in uh, the 24th episode of season two. So I'm pretty sure this is the finale, maybe, or the penultimate episode um and they're in hannah's kitchen and aria goes into the freezer and she holds up a pepperoni pizza girl <laughs> they were being so good they were being so good and consistent like even down to the lunches and then my vegetarian queen holds up a pepperoni pizza good lord so she holds up this frozen pepperoni pizza and she asks if it's big enough for all of them to split what are you doing queen you should not be splitting it with them <laughs> You don't need pepperoni. You think this will be enough to split? But then again, at lunch in this same episode, Aria has soup, bread, and carrot sticks from her packed lunch. Um, and she's brought a packed lunch a few times, whereas pretty much, I would say almost always, Emily, Hannah, and Spencer have food from like the cafeteria. Whereas sometimes Aria does bring packed lunches, which to me kind of, again, insinuates that she brings her own food to make sure that she has vegetarian options. So I feel like we can just let the pepperoni pizza slide, you know what I mean? Like she was just she was just in a silly goofy mood that day. Then in season three, episode three, at lunch she has a salad with grapes and a jacket potato. So in the 14th episode of season three, Spencer says that Aria was excused from the dissection class um, in biology on vegetarian grounds. So this to me is pretty good confirmation that at least at this point in the show, she was vegetarian. Although she says it was on humanitarian grounds, not vegetarian grounds, but I feel like if she's, if she's fighting the cause, she's probably vegetarian. I didn't even think that that's because you got excused from dissection based on vegetarian grounds. Guys, people are gonna think we put that in her locker. It wasn't vegetarian, it was humanitarian. Are you still hating on me? Possibly. Guys, pay attention. In the second episode of season four, Ari just has french fries. Spencer, what are you doing with my french fries? Then, here we go again. My gal, my gal confirming, confirming that she supports the good old animal, animal rights. So in the 10th episode of season four, Ari is out on a date with Jake. Um, and you know, he says, oh, I'd like to take you somewhere nice sometime, like maybe get you a nice steak or something. And she says, I don't eat meat at all. Steak or, or something. I don't eat meat at all. Ah. <laughs> From Aria Montgomery's mouth, she is a vegetarian, okay? She's a vegetarian. They are sitting there and they're eating vegetarian burritos. This is another reason why Jake was so good for her. <sighs> and she leaves him for Ezra. Terrible mistake, terrible mistake. You're here with me, honest. <laughs> Eating a vegetarian burrito. I can't help but smile right now. Ara's vegetarian, confirmed. I think the pepperoni pizza and the cheeseburger were just a bit of a blip. You know, they're just a little bit of a blip. It was just a momentary lapse. Momentary lapse. That was just the writers forgetting who our gal is. I don't think it's grounds to say that she's A. In the 11th episode of season four, Arya has a kind of like sub, is that what you like call it? Like a kind of like roll um, with salad in it and maybe egg mayo or like hummus or something. And then in the 12th episode of season four, in a deleted scene, Arya says that she's gonna make Jake enhanced mac and cheese. Um, but then she's kind of like in her head, she's like, oh, I made that for Ezra before. And she decides to go for stir fry instead. In uh, season four, episode 20, Arya has a falafel wrap with salad and fruit on the side. And then uh, season four, episode 22, Riley, a guy that she was hooking up with um, on a university trip, he is a vegetarian. He says that he's a vegetarian um, and says, you know, that Jeremiah's in town is the best vegetarian place like anywhere near here. And so Arya says she's going to go there later with Byron for dinner. See, again, Riley was a good match. He was also a vegetarian. And this gal still goes back to Ezra. Jeremiah's. Yeah. How do you know that? That's <laughs> uh, the only good vegetarian place around here. In season five, episode six, at lunch, Arya has penne pasta with tomato sauce and salad and fruit on the side. In the 17th episode of season six, Byron and Arya are having lunch at the brew and she's having a salad and she's like oh my gosh no it's tasty you want to send that back order something else hmm? oh no 
Oh, Girl, be so for real. There are like five leads on that plate. And then season seven, episode four, at brunch, Arya has like fruit salad and muffin. And I think like the other girls have like bacon and stuff as well. I think maybe now. <laughs> Here's where she starts to lose us again. <laughs> In the seventh episode of season seven, Arya has dinner with Jason, Allison, and Mary. And we don't see this starter except for like some leftover vegetables. But then Mary comes out and she says she's made beef wellington for like the main. Um, and again, we don't see Arya eat it and there are like potatoes and salad as sides. So yeah. Yeah. But we don't see her eat it. So I feel like Maybe she's in the clear. <laughs> and then in the 20th episode of season seven, literally in the finale, just right at the very, very end, she trips up once more. Um, and Hannah tells Arya that she has to order the duck on her honeymoon. And Arya says that she will. Queen, what are you doing? I think... <laughs> me, <laughs> me being an Arya defendant till the day I die. Um... To be fair, it feels more in passing and to kind of like appease Hannah and be like, oh yeah, like I'll order what you recommend kind of vibe. And like, I feel like it also really makes sense for Hannah's character that she would forget that Ari's a vegetarian and kind of just make this comment. So again, I'm giving my girl the benefit of the doubt. And yeah, like I said, Arya is a vegetarian in the books. Um, we've now had like Spencer and Jake and like a couple other times where she has actually said that she is vegetarian or someone else has. Um, I also didn't include when she like eats desserts, like she has key lime pie, she has blueberry muffin, like things like that. Um, because usually they're almost always vegetarian unless they do have gelatin in them. Um, so yeah, I kind of just like left those out, but she does like eat some of that stuff as well. She also always orders soy lattes i'm pretty sure like most of the time she'll order a soy latte and if someone else is ordering her a coffee they will also get a soy latte um however we do like i said see her eating like um pie and poppy seed muffins and like she has pancakes when she goes like out with riley so my official final ruling on the matter is that aria is a vegetarian Okay, she is a vegetarian that also likes to eat vegan food when it is available and chooses dairy alternatives where available. That is my final verdict. Like I said, I think the cheeseburger is just a case of pilot discrepancies and we don't actually see her eat it. I think the pepperoni pizza, again, was just a little blip on her part. You know, she's very stressed. She was running from A. She was having a lot of, you know, a lot of troubles. Um, and then I think, again, didn't see her eat the beef wellington, and also I think Hannah just forgot she was a vegetarian and she just said, yeah, I'll try the duck to kind of just be like, don't you worry, queen, I'll try what you recommend. So that is my final decision. <laughs> um, like I said, <laughs> gotta be the most ridiculous video I've ever filmed for this channel, but honestly, it was kind of fun. Um, so... I mean, I don't feel like you can really let me know in the comments your thoughts because I've cracked the case, I feel. Um, if there's anything that I have forgotten, then please let me know. Um, yeah, maybe I should do a video on like the top 10 most iconic vegetarian characters in TV and movie or something. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this more fun and ridiculous one let me know in the comments if you do like the more kind of obscure oh hello moomin hello sweet bee let me know down in the comments if you like these kind of more light-hearted like silly pretty little eyes videos like i could also do them for gossip girl desperate housewives on tree hill um it kind of it just to kind of break up the more like intense deep dive hour-long <laughs> kind of videos um and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.